Now, I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life, and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it to you. Hey, people, people, how you are doing today? It's your girl, Destiny here, and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So, this video is a video of a black man coming to talk about soft life, how women have life soft, how he wished that he could have the soft life just like women. And he went and talk about how men provide for women and they just make the woman life easier and soft and all that and give her the soft life and how a man cannot look up or have a soft life and this has strike a bigger conversation people talking about if um these men are jealous literally okay so anyway guys let's go check out what he has to say then we'll come back and talk more i'm gonna be also transparent right now i'm jealous that women could say i want a soft life and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it to you at no point in my life can i say i want a soft life and expect someone to give it to me it, it just would never happen. There is no point in my life I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to sit up here, I'm going to get a girl pregnant, and then she's going to take care of me. Because it don't work out like that. Because I'm a man. Okay. So I, want, I really want some of you to think about that, especially if you have someone that is providing and or assisting you in a soft life and appreciate them. Because they really do love you and they really do work two times, three times harder than they would if they were by themselves all because they care for you and the family that you guys have created but i am jealous of women for that fact because let me tell you you know how women are like oh i'm so tired of this i'm so tired of that guess what sweetheart so are we but us men we got to figure it out and keep grinding because okay. we're men right but y'all have it lucky and i'm like i said i am jealous that y'all can sit up there and be like you know what he can figure it out Please go down in the comment section and share it. I'd love to know what you think about what he said down in the comment section. So this video has gotten a lot of people talking, especially the ladies. The ladies are eating him up and kind of scolding him and scolding men that thinks that women life are soft just because they provide finance for them. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it. Love to know your thoughts. But let's go check out what women, especially women, think about this. And then I'll come back and share more of my thoughts. But I want to know your own thoughts down in the comment section. So let's go check out the video. And then we'll come and talk. And at the end of the video, I'm going to put him responding to people's response to his video. Okay, so let's go check it out. Then we'll come back and talk more. It, it just would never happen. The thing about it is there are plenty of men who are out here living a soft life, but you have to be secure exactly. enough in your masculinity and your manhood to embrace it. Remember a couple of months ago, the influencer Drew Walls went viral on this app and also on Twitter because he was showcasing his like day in the life and he was doing like different hauls. He was like setting up his tripod in the parking lot at Target and in the aisles at Target and everybody was giving him a hard time. But when he got that big contract with the NFL and was starting to make big money and even Drake was trying to follow his videos, everybody thought it was cool then all of a sudden. We knew you guys were jealous of him then. We knew you guys were jealous of women who were getting princess treatment then. Just say that you want the same life. That's it. Just say that you also want flowers. Just say that you also want to be spoiled. Just say it. But hating on everybody who has the life that you want makes you a hater. And a hater is nothing but a misguided admirer. And that's mm. all you guys ever were. The problem isn't that men like this want to live a soft life. The problem is that some men act like women don't deserve to. But nine mm. times out of ten, if a man is spoiling a woman, she's earned it. She deserves it. It's mm -hmm. not y'all out here giving princess treatment to just anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be also transparent right now. I'm jealous that women could say I want a soft life and you guys can... This video don't even make sense. You want to know why it don't make sense? Because women keep dating broke men. Broke men are living a soft life. You know, <laughs> the women that deal with a certain type of men, the worst kind of men ever, and they not paying no bills. They get in three meals a day in their stomach. They don't have to do nothing, no work, no nothing. Men are actually living soft lives. Broke men are living soft lives. Men mm -hmm. that choose not to be a provider in the home are living soft lives. This doesn't make any sense because a lot of women are not living soft lives, but a lot of men are living soft Li lives mm -hmm. because, you know, women like to enable men and stuff like that. So this doesn't yeah. even make any sense. And right now, I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it. Bend over. <laughs> you can have it too. You just got to bend over for a little bit. Okay. Right now, I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life, and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it to you. I wish my sons would get on this internet and tell y'all he wish he had a soft life. This message is directly for my kids. 
Okay. I gave you a soft life for the first 25 years of y'all life. You didn't have to lift a finger. All you had to do was go to school. For the first few years, I wiped your ass. Y'all better not ever put me in no rap song talking about you struggle eating ramen noodles when you was crying in my back seat because you couldn't get lobster. Okay? Y'all better not never embarrass me on these internet streets like that. <laughs> but on a sad note, in reality, y'all, men get the soft life when they get married. Mm -hmm. They usually come help balance out your responsibilities so your life becomes softer. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. Now, I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life, and you guys can find Don't remember that Bill Brisky video where they asked her, like, why did you transition to, like, become a woman? And she said, like, women don't understand their power. Y'all can get anything you want. When I was a broke man, people would, like, kick me down and stuff. But now that I'm, like, you know, a woman, I love my life. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what he should try. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, nothing is stopping you from living the way you truly want to live, sir. <laughs> That's why a lot of these men be jealous of you and they try to humble you, especially those pop the balloon games. They always want to pop the balloon on a woman that's, like, making more money or blah, blah, blah. They just want to humble you so bad. Or if you're, like, an independent person, you're the one that's, like, asking, when are we going to this, going to that. They want to yeah. say no to you so you can know that you can't have everything. Weirdos. Mm -hmm. And right now, mm -hmm. I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life, and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it to you. What Disney princess movie do these men be looking in? <laughs> like, what Tom Hanks rom-com do they be existing in that they think women can say that they want the soft life and just have a man materialize and give it to us? As much student debt as, as I've accumulated to acquire the level of education that I have, right? If there was a man that came along right now, and as an aside, I mean, I, I'm an independent woman and I love being independent and I love how intelligent I am and, 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 and how accomplished I am. I am, I'm proud of all that. But do you think I'd truly be out here or that I'd be out here in these streets working as hard as I do if there was honestly, truly, legitimately a man that could give me the soft life exactly at no point in my life can i say i want a soft life and expect someone to give it to me. this man is confused correct me if i'm wrong my understanding is a soft life is just having a supportive partner having a partner that ain't a no good man like that's literally all these women are saying when they have a soft life are there some women out here who don't lift a finger yes but most women, when they're talking about a soft life, they're just talking about, like, equal division of labor. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like the bar is literally in hell. Jealous that women could say, <laughs> I want a soft life, and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it to you. At no point in my life can I say, I want a soft life, and expect someone to give it to me. It, it just would never happen. I wish my son would get on this app and talk about some, I'm jealous of women because they get to have a soft life, and I can't. Okay, so let me just begin this by saying, because I don't want anybody to think that I'm bashing men. Um, I don't think that men are the enemy. I don't think that women are the enemy. I think the true enemy is miscommunication and misunderstanding. I think that men don't understand women. Women don't understand men. Men are out here trying to compete with women. Women are out here trying to compete with men. And let me just be the first to say as a woman, we cannot do everything that men can do. We can do things that are better than men and men can do things that are better than us. And so we were always meant to balance each other out, not compete with each other. But I do wanna make something very clear, especially for the men who are like, well, what do you women bring to the table? Well, what are women bringing to the table? What are women bringing to the table? First of all, sir, the only reason why you can even show up at the table is because a woman made the choice to bring you into this world. And that came at the expense of her health, sometimes her mental health, her body, Life. her sleep, her time, her energy. Women are the gatekeepers of humanity. So can you at least give us our props for that? All of your friends, all of your homeboys, guess where they came from? Mm -hmm. The portal of a woman. So you need to understand that when you look at a woman, you are looking at a woman who is in a vessel that is designed for creating life. Even if she doesn't want to have children, she still has to deal with the effects of being in a vessel 
that is designed for creating life. That means whether she wants it or not, her body is constantly trying to get her pregnant. She's either preparing for a pregnancy, she's having a pregnancy, or she's being punished for not being pregnant. This is her own body revolting against her. And if she wants to prevent pregnancy, she has to take these synthetic hormones, which do a number on her emotions. So there's a walking tax just being a woman. Not to mention, we are not as good at managing stress as men are like women we swallow stress up whereas men look for ways to release it and so when there are men that understand this about women they tend to look at women as a more fragile vessel which actually instinctually makes them want to protect and provide for women but naturally if you're looking at a woman as your competitor yeah you're not gonna have that instinct so these men out here who are providing a soft life for women it's because they think that those women deserve it and they're not looking at women as their competition they're looking at women as the emotional sometimes irrational little gremlins that we are and if they like us enough they want to be the peace to our chaos honestly i feel like every woman deserves a soft life because of what we go through just being women and if she can't get a man to provide that for her i hope that she understands that she has the strength and the creativity to provide it for herself that women could say i want a soft life and you guys can find someone that's willing to give it to you and no i know y'all want to tear this man up right now but i honestly commend him for his honesty i think that a lot of young men feel like this and they bash women instead of just doing what this young man did and be honest it's jealousy you're they're mad because they can't just wake up and find somebody rich and their life changed like this when you're a woman and a beautiful woman and a young woman and a fit woman your life could change like this you could meet a man and your life could change that's not something that could really happen to a man and he's telling the truth he, he experiences jealousy i mean it's not wrong with it it's a human emotion we all get jealous sometimes and although it was a little feminine of him to make a video like that I think a lot of men do experience this feeling, especially young men who see young women whose lives can change like this by just... I'm going to be also transparent right now. I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life and you guys can... My 16-year-old currently has a job at McDonald's and plans on picking up a full-time landscaping job this summer. And I said, buddy, you're going to burn yourself out. You don't have to work this hard. You're 16. And he said, mom, you don't get it. I'm a man. We can work 80 hours a week. And in that moment, I knew I did something right. <laughs> right now, I'm jealous that women could say, I want a soft life, and you guys can find someone that's willing to get So, men can have soft lives as well. Y'all can have the life that y'all want for yourselves. Y'all just need to set standards for yourself. And it shouldn't be outrageous standards. But the thing about it is, it's like, y'all will literally f things up in relationships. Y'all will literally do it because you leave with your money first off. That's the first red flag. You should not be leading with your money to try to get a woman. And then you're, you're attracted to the looks. You're attracted to the bodies and stuff. Not No, don't get me wrong. You know, women are beautiful. But it's like they're beautiful, but what do they have inside of them? And I feel like y'all are so used to the image that you'll see right past how a woman acts towards you and you don't have standards for yourself. And like, I'm not going to be treated this way. Y'all can live a soft life and y'all can have the peace that y'all want. But no, when women date y'all, it comes with so many stipulations and there's so much baggage that comes with dating y'all sometimes because you'll start off a situation with a woman and you'll just start off the situation and she's completely lost like she don't even know what y'all doing y'all just messing around y'all just around y'all just doing all this other stuff you saying oh we exclusive but we're together but we're not together and y'all don't realize how messy that is y'all yeah. don't y'all don't have standards for y'all so y'all don't it's not a it's not a clear way of dating a man but with women we know what we want we want marriage we we want it so if y'all dating and y'all don't even know what y'all want how can you expect to live a soft life how can you expect to live a peaceful life 
the woman has to just wait on you to get better no if that's the case you just need to shut off with dating until you're ready to be a husband Okay. So you can't be jealous that a woman gets what she wants and she can reap the benefits of a soft life and a peaceful life because her man has made it his um her man has made it his you know his promise to make her life easier. Y'all can have a woman like one thing about it is it's like you can have a woman in the palm of your hands if you just treat her right. Yep, I agree. But y'all not treating women right. Y'all are cheating on them. Y'all getting women pregnant. Y'all are manipulating. Y'all are abusing these women. How else are you supposed to have that life? How are you supposed to just be all about, like your partner being all about you and you being all about them? How? Y'all don't even set that. You're like y'all, y'all, child. Anyways, I don't agree with that date. I can go on and on about this, but y'all don't even set up the relationship to be peaceful. Y'all don't. And, and we're not talking about women, but men don't even set up the relationship to be peaceful. Just saying. I made a soft life video like like a month or two or a month and a half ago right and the women love it oh my god see he's talking about how jealous he is of women and if that's how you took it cool but what i'm starting to truly understand is a lot of you don't understand the pressures of being a man a lot of you don't understand when you actually have a man who wants to lead and provide for his family the proper way a lot of you don't understand the extra stress that puts on him and how much pride and emotion he has behind making sure his family is happy and successful and a lot of you will never understand how much of a toll that can take on a man personally the see the thing is some of you are so selfish and so self-centered you only think about yourself you're a me 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 instead of taking a step back and being like damn i wonder how my significant other feels damn okay. i'm stressed out and I have a man that wants to provide for me. I have a man who works his ass off for me, but you never take the step back to think about how he's feeling or the things that he has to go through. That's something I'm starting to realize with the, the commentary in that video. You guys all of a sudden just think just because a man can recognize the fact that women can have a soft life and a man can't, that means he has to go be with a man. How does that sound? Don't you guys want people to be able to recognize the differences that men and women go through? So I'm going to say it again. If I got a woman pregnant, at no point in my life can I be like, you know what? I got that woman pregnant. I can sit back and let her take care of everything. It's just not in the role that a man was ever supposed to be. Mm. Mm. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So feel free to share your thoughts. Do you think that women have more soft life or do you think that women's life is a lot easier than men's life? Let me know your own thoughts down in the comment section and if you agree with what he said. So here's my own take on this. I feel like... A lot of men really think that women have it easy. But for me personally, I feel like when it comes to soft life, a lot of people usually um, consider soft life as somebody that provide exactly, like provide financially. But I see a soft life as minimum stress, minimum effort and things. The way you live your life is like you're not, put, you're not stressed about a lot of things. You're not putting so much effort into a lot of things. For me, that is a soft life for me. It doesn't really have to be about the money, but even though the money sometimes can make your life a lot easy, some men may provide the money for you, but your life is a living hell. They may provide everything for you, but they are controlling you. I have this friend that her husband literally provide everything for her and all that, but this woman with the same age, almost 40, she has a coffee for 8 p.m. Anything that makes her to get home 
anything less than 8 p.m., her husband locks her outside. So is that a soft life? So for me, it's not just the money aspect of it. It's the way you're treated and the minimum effort. You don't have to stress a lot about a lot of things. And that is the soft life. And I feel like, look, a lot of men really hate this about women because they don't really understand how much stress we go through in putting the house, the family, their lives and our lives in order, like running the entire both lives together they usually think that because they provide the money they are making your life easier when some of them are using weaponized incompetence not to even help in the house treat you right and all that so no the women that no soft life is something that a well-grown woman not every woman have soft life not every man that provides financially gives a woman a soft life so i totally disagree and i feel like loki some men are really jealous about women that are able to afford that soft life for them and i don't i like i don't even get it why a man is even talking about even though yes he has the right to his opinion and all that like what was the purpose of that video like you saying okay and i feel like because they don't live our life and they don't understand our life they feel like oh they, they they are doing us a favor they are helping us out especially the ones that provide financially because for me i feel like that is the one thing they feel like the, the only thing i feel like they can do and not all men some men emotionally you're not there mentally you're not there spiritually you're not there and you feel like you're giving me the soft life like Make it make sense. And to think that a woman comes into a man's life and makes the man's life a lot easier because she helps to organize his life. Ciao. Give me a break. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. Let me know, do you think women have a soft life or not? And ladies, I just want to say, okay, try and get like, don't wait for any man to give you the soft life. Don't. Give yourself the soft life. And if you find a man that's going to add value into your life, that's going to elevate your life, that's going to make your life a lot easy, then it's an added plus for it. But ladies, work, get your back up, know yourself, love yourself, start taking care of yourself, start making life a lot easier for yourself, okay? And efficient for yourself. So, yeah, ladies, let's do this. <laughs> And okay, before I even go on, I, and the crazy thing is that I've been that child that my mom always looked like. I've always wanted to self fly because I always find the easiest way. I'm that child that wants a vacuum. Even though growing up, we usually use like local broom to sweep. I'm usually the one that is always campaigning for let's have a vacuum. I'm always finding a way to make my life a lot easier than it is. And yeah, it's just in beauty. We're just working hard to get, to get the life, the soft life, okay? <laughs> Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversations. So go ahead and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl. So with that, I will say subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.